Hi, my name is Kerry Badham, and today I'm going to show you our brand new product, the FMM Gift Tag Set of Two. You can see the gift tag here that we've demonstrated on top of this Christmas cake. The set consists of four pieces, a large gift tag, a small gift tag, and two decorating strips, one for each of the size gift tags. On the decorating strip you have a holly leaf, a rose leaf, a bow and a rose. And just in the smaller size here for the smaller gift tag. The best paste to use to make your gift tags is modelling paste. You can buy modelling paste or you can make your own. We make our own using Tylo and fondant. So I add a little bit to the, the board and I knead it in. Wrap it up, put it to one side for half an hour. You could also make it the night before. What you'll find is as you keep kneading the Tylo in, it will start to firm up. CMC and gum track are exactly the same. Here's some modeling paste that I rolled out earlier. It's not too thick. And I leave mine to dry just for a little so it's not too sticky. Once you roll it out, you turn your paste over, place your gift tag on top, and you slide it around. Now you should be able to feel your mat beneath the gift tag. This means that you haven't rolled it out too thick. Remove the excess and pop it through and you'll have a nice clean cut. I'll show you exactly the same using the small gift tag. Slide it round, a nice clean cut. Remove the excess and just pop it through. Here's a dry one that I cut out earlier. You can see the lovely shape. Now you'll need to put your gift tags to one side to dry and I would leave them to dry for at least 24 hours. This will mean that you can write on your gift tags. So now we're going to decorate our gift tag. So just the same, this time using the decorating strip, pop it on top of the modelling paste, remove the excess, turn it over and I always like to rub the back with my finger. This will enhance the embossing and also make sure that you've got a lovely clean edge. And then I literally just flick it out. You can pop it through with a brush as well, but it's nice and easy just to tap on your work surface. I just cut out a holly leaf. So, nice and easy. So, We'll use the small strip this time and we'll cut out a bow. Finger over the back and I just pop it through. You can add a little bit of detail to your bow if you want to. A little line to give it a little bit of creasing, which is really cute. Here I have one that I made earlier, which has the red bow, and I wrote an inscription on saying happy birthday. We wrote the inscription on using an edible pen. You can buy these from Rainbow Dust and other manufacturers. Show you here, nice and easy. You could make one for Valentine's Day. We cut out a couple of rose leaves. Nice and simple. Then you, all you would do is attach them to your gift tag 
with water or edible glue. Here's one that I made earlier. The great thing about the gift tags is that you can use them for so many different occasions. Along the front here, I've got them on some cupcakes. We have a happy holidays one. We've got one that you can use for Father's Day to Dad. We've made a good luck one. Well done, just congratulating someone, maybe on getting a new job or passing their exams or their driving test. We have another little one with the love symbol on, great for Valentine's Day, or just to send to someone special. A new home, we've got mum for Mother's Day, with love. It might be really nice to have your child write out to, to mum or to dad or to nan or to gran, and you can make these really personalised. They work for so many different celebrations. We think that they're a fantastic little addition to your tool set. This is the cake that we've made to demonstrate the gift tag. And the lovely thing about the brand new gift tag is that you also have the decoration strip, which you can see here. I've added little bows to the front of our cake. I've also put a little bow on the FMM owl cutter. And if I just turn this round to the side for you, you can see I've done exactly the same, but this time I've used the mini holly leaf and then I've used the larger leaf and we've just repeated the pattern as we've gone round. We use the FMM multi ribbon tool cutter to make the ribbon and the bow on the side of our cake as well. Thank you for watching.